Okay, the next thing we need to do, we need a database to get this from. We could use MySQL. Um, not a big fan of MySQL. It's okay. Uh, so we're going to do SQL Express. And here we go. Microsoft. And I'm not going to cover this installation. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials online about installing SQL. Um, we go ahead and download it and have it. Um, I'll allow you to do that on your own. And we're going to access it. Going to SSMS. Let's go ahead and get that installed and then come back. Now you probably want to do a default instance and you probably want to use mixed mode. Um, so we're going to connect up here. And we're going to go to databases. And we're going to right click and say new database. And database name, we're going to call this bugs. And I'm just going to say okay. I'm good with that. So now bugs, we need some tables. We don't have any tables. We have system tables. So we need a new table. So let's start out by giving this an ID. Make it an integer. Do not allow nulls. Scroll this guy up. I'm going to go down to identity specification. And say yes. I'm not going to make. So this is going to create a column that automatically increments the ID. <clears throat> so this basically can serve as your primary key. Um, so here we're going to have a description. And we're going to create this as a varchar. And we'll go 50. We're not going to have any bug descriptions. We're not going to allow nulls. And we're going to set this and this both as primary keys. So we don't want to have anything with the same ID and the same description. So that's all we need for a category, just an ID and a description. So we're going to say yes, we're going to save this table. And we're going to call this categories. And if we go and right click and refresh our tables, we will have categories. Okay.